Hello, I'm Steve with Touch of the Master's Hand, Holy Spirit Ministries. I'm going to talk to you today about a little bit about the pathway of life with Jesus. So I'm going to read you out of a part of the pathway, of my pathway of life. Jesus inspired me to write a book about visions, and I'll tell you a little bit more about it later. But anyhow, I'm going to kind of dive into one of the writings that are in there. Your word is a lamp unto my feet and a light unto my path. James 3, that's Psalms 119, 105. James 3, 17. But the wisdom that is from above is first pure and peaceable, gentle, willing to yield, full of mercy and good fruits, without partiality, without hypocrisy. Now the fruits of righteousness is sown in peace by those who make peace. The joy of the Lord is my strength. The Bible is so full of directions for our life as we walk down the path of life. The Holy Spirit will lead, guide, and direct us to all truths. I want to share with you a little bit about some of the pathway the life told the Lord told me to go, and I want to share with you a little bit about this book about visions, how to get a free copy. Um, just watch some of my other YouTube videos; it'll tell you how to get a free copy. But I'll tell you how to get a free copy. Um, I want to share one of the visions with you. I saw a long gravel path with people walking on it. At one end, Jesus was on the cross. As the people walked under the arms of Jesus, they were washed by the blood of the Lamb and clothed in brilliant white robes. Then I saw a path in front of them paved in gold. At the other end was Jesus was Jesus standing also. He, he had a white robe on and a beautiful crown made of gold adorned with precious stones, a scepter in his hand. The people started walking towards him. As they got to him, he put a crown of on top of their heads, he handed them a scepter. They walked onto the earth and went forth to all parts of the nation. That's the type of visions that I'm having about God's people being full of Jesus and just walking all throughout the earth, reaching people for Jesus. Because that's kind of the hour and dispensation time we're living in. Um, the visions I'm having are about a great revival in America, not the doom and gloom. If you look up the internet, last days, end times. It's all about destruction of America, and I get it, you know, this is kind of a, you know, we're passing sinful laws, it's, you know, it's just politics is a mess, the media is a mess, all around you looks like a mess, but Jesus is the answer, we're living in a grace dispensation, I mean, some of the things that are on the internet are about economic collapse, well, we're already collapsed. And look at the deficit. Look at what they have to do. They have to extend how much they borrow every three months with the Democrats' plan. Republicans was 18 months. Neither one of them is a good plan. So anyhow, um, I want to tell you about a little bit of another pathway the Lord sh showed me to go down. But um, if you want a copy of this book, it's free. Um, just email me at steveyoungstrom at yahoo.com and I'll send you a free copy. No, I won't keep your emails, I won't keep your addresses, I won't send you a bunch of junk, just a copy of the book. So anyhow, to tell you brief, brief short things that the Lord's been doing for me and directing my pathways, and He'll do the same for you, and you got gifts and callings, and everybody's a little different, but you know, other people have visions too, so it's not, I don't corner the market on it. So anyhow, the Lord kept dealing with me with cities, different cities. One day I was sitting in my prayer and he told me to go to Italy, Texas. I knew where that was, a small town, because I used to go to Austin all the time and my parents lived down there. So a couple months went by, finally I told my wife and finally made a trip down there. It was awesome. We got to pray for a lady. The Lord told me that we had to go and eat. And we did, and got to pray for the owner of the restaurant. It was just awesome. Told us to go to Little Elm. Told me to go to Little Elm a couple weeks later, and to pray for the postal clerk. And I did. Awesome. She needed some extra prayer. Uh, then he told me to go to the library and ask for a certain type of book, and to, the, to ask for the clerk, find the clerk, and ask for a certain type of book. It did. He opened the door. He just been giving me city after city. He'll tell me like all the Oklahoma, and I look it up. Sure enough, it's a city, Logan, Texas. I look it up, sure enough, it's a city. He's just been giving, giving me all these cities to go to and do different things. You know, pr some some are just to pray for people, and some are just to pray for regions. You know, that's just the pathway that the Lord is leading, guiding, directing me. The Holy Spirit's leading me. You know, one day my he told me normal Illinois. My wife said, "Can't can't God find somebody closer?" And I'm, gonna, I'm you know, I guess not. 
I don't really want to go to normal Illinois from Texas. I'd rather go visit my children out in San Diego. I'd take that kind of vacation. But, you know, I'm going to just do what the Lord tells me to do. So the pathway of life, when we follow the leading of the Holy Spirit, it's awesome. Jesus is the answer, and he needs to be at the center of our life. We need to win as many souls as we can for Christ because we're in the grace dispensation. Thanks for listening. I'm going to keep this kind of short. Please watch some of my other videos. Post comments on them. Put them on, you, put them on Facebook or, or whatever other, other kind of social media to help me spread this word. Thank you. God bless you. Have a great and wonderful day. Talk to you soon.